I think Andrew um, is really interested in primitive feeling as it relates to children. Um, and a lot of that obviously was uh, explored in, in Nemo, and it was just going to be obvious that he was going to take the same, uh, those same kinds of risks in, uh, in Finding Dory. So it's ironic that a movie about a fish, in a, in some in fish tanks and aquariums, have just such a huge, wide range of emotive possibilities, from the hysterical to the deeply profound and, 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 and primally frightening. Um, so that's kind of exciting to ponder musically. There's so much information that goes on in an animated movie, and, and as a composer, you see a lot of it along the way, but typically never a finished product. So it's always remarkable when you get to the end of the product, uh, at the project, to, 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 uh, to, to look back on it. So a lot of the initial discussions were about story and, 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 and about feeling, um, about how uh, the movie was going to be different than Finding Nemo and how it was going to be similar. Obviously, characters are similar. Um, but I think with Andrew, you just kind of, uh, you get in the trench and you start working. He's a, he's, he's a real worker. Um, I, I don't think anyone works as hard as him. I mean, we all do in our own ways, but n no one uh, with such a reach. Um, and it was just clear that, that he was going to be just as tough on me as he had been on Wally and Finding Nemo. And, um, I, you know, I'd have to uh, bear out my ideas. What's there in this movie is, is, is so broad ranged in, in terms of humor and in pathos that you just want the music to be helping that happen. I think ultimately, as a composer, you, you want to, what I get most out of, of writing is wanting to help storytelling because that's always what's most fun for me to sit and, and watch and witness. Um, so if there's sadness, I want to bring that sadness out, but I don't necessarily, again, want to re describe it. I just want to underline it. I want to make it more of what it is if that's the appropriate thing to do. Sometimes you want to leave it alone and let it be sad on its own. So it, it really is a case by case. Um, but I think the, the range of feeling is always typically uh, brought out uh, in, the, in the dialogue, in the movie, and I'm there to try to, I guess, bring my sense of what that would be in, in musical language.